Right, I'll get this wrong, I'm sure. I always do. I always do the video too quickly and it's like next day. Oh fuck, I got that wrong. <laughs> I went too quickly. Um, Speeding Fine received quite some time ago. This was written on the 23rd of March. So that's five weeks ago. Give or take. Now all I've done here is they had certain sections of the form they sent me which they wished me to fill in with my driving license number and everything um, and sign it obviously and etc and so forth. Um, so basically when I read the letter that's the questions or the comments that they've put so I'm answering them. I think that's the easiest way to, to describe this. Because I did mean to make a copy of the form, but I sent it back blank. And I'd sealed the envelope before I realised what was going on. To whom it may concern, because the guy who sent me this was called David Brown or something. And there was a scanned on signature, David Brown. Um, thank you for your notice of intended prosecution. I suggest you decide whether you, to, you are to prosecute me or not. Until you do, there's not really much I can say. You clearly state, after all, it is an alleged offence. I said that at the top, alleged offence, I was speeding. Well, is it an offence or not? This is Kent Police, right, who are all Freemasons. Uh, Maidstone uh, Council, I think it is, actually has Freemasonry, some sort of statues or street furniture or something outside the council offices. They're all fucking Freemasons. Um, secondly, if you're writing on behalf of the Chief Constable, then I suggest he signs a letter. Until this happens, your notice is invalid and unlawful. I could send an identical one to you and say I was acting under the authority of the Queen. Thirdly, you've already been provided with my details, because this was actually a work thing. But the, the car, or whatever you're driving, is registered. You get the letter to your address, so uh, which I am not disputing. So why do they want my name and address when they've written to me at my name and address? Otherwise, you would not be contacting me at my house address. And since there is no legal requirement for me to sign this document on the basis that it would be to my financial detriment and against my will, there is no need for me to fill anything in. Think about it. Please then find your forms returned, as I do not recognise nor am I, am I required to comply with acts or statutes. In fact, I think you'll find I would only be required to comply if I had filled in the forms in the first place, if, upon receipt of this letter, you are able to supply the article of law which you're acting under, then please let me know. And I've signed it sincerely, Paul of the YouTube channel. Of course, if the Chief Constable put their name to he or she, I don't know who's in charge of Kent Police, um, but they, they would know that they were breaking the law. And it was a compliance issue. Uh, so, that, like I say, guys, five weeks, I've not heard anything. Maybe they'll say they didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, then again, maybe something will drop through the post on Monday. <laughs> As is per when I normally do these videos. <laughs> But I mean, that's just some ideas for you guys. It's not gospel, you know. Ta-da!